Hey everyone, hope you're well. Uh, today we're going to have a look at how to play the really fantastic solo to Have a Cigar by David Gilmore and Pink Floyd. Not a whole lot of tutorials out there for this one, I don't think. Uh, but regardless, this one's going to be the best. Uh, at the very least, it should be pretty accurate. Uh, my performance over backing track and tone analysis video for this one can be found down below in the description box if you'd like to check those out and maybe use them for reference as you go along. Let's dig right into this one, shall we? But first, as usual, and as is usual with David Gilmore, we're in standard tuning, and for this one we'll be working in the key of E minor, using the uh, E minor pentatonic scale predominantly. However, we'll be pulling one note out of the natural minor on a number of occasions. This uh, F sharp right there, and I'll point those out when we get to them. So let's close in here on the fretboard, have a look at the E minor pentatonic, and then we'll have a look at how to play Have a Cigar. All right, uh, Have a Cigar by David Gilmore, Pink Floyd from the Wish You Were Here album. Uh, I think I mentioned that I was going to show you the, uh, the E minor pentatonic before we got started, and I'm uh, going to do that right now. So uh, a lot of this solo takes place here right in this box, the E minor pentatonic box at the 12th fret position. That is the E minor pentatonic, 12-15. 12-14, and we're adding one note, this F-sharp note here, at the 14th fret of the high E, and that is out of the natural minor scale, and uh, so you get this, you know, in the bottom three strings. I don't think we touch upon it here on the uh, 11th fret of the G. Uh, maybe, but I, I don't think. And uh, anyway, the solo starts. It's big power chords. G, down to F sharp, down to F, and then the solo starts. And this is the first lick. So a big full step bend with some nice juicy vibrato at the 15th fret of the B string. And while it's still up there, you're going to pick it and release it off to 12 and jump right back onto 15 again. And then back off to 12. And that little phrase there on the G string is a full step bend and you're going to choke it off as soon as you get it to the top, 14th fret of the G string off to the 12th fret for uh, an index bend release, full step bend release. I went up a little too high that time. And then we're into this. Little trill between 12 and 15, back to 12, and then back onto 15. Up to 17 for a full step bend, and when it's up there, you're going to pick it three times. Kind of like that. Back it up to 15 for a full step bend. And then you're going to hit the natural note, you're going to release it to the natural note at 15, and you're going to pick it, and then off to 14. And then you're going to pick it two more times, and then you're going to jump up to the 15th fret of the B and pick that three times. And then one final time, you're going to give it a full step bend release off to 12 and kill the note. Kind of like that. So up to that point. into this. Bend release at 14 off to 12 of the G. Double stop on 14 of the G B. Immediately off to a double stop on the 12th. Resolve it to the 14th of the D. And then right back down to the tw uh, 12th fret double stop. And, uh, and then we're into this. 
So we're back on the double stops at the 14th. Kind of a little down, up, down, up like three times. And then off to 12, then a little mute before you hit the 14th fret of the D. You hear that little mute in there? And then you're going to jump on to the 14th of the A, slide it back to 12, then back to 10, back on to 12, slide it back to 14. Kind of like that. So, from the beginning. And then we're into this. So from after sliding back into the 14, a couple of uh, little down up down ups on the uh, the 12th fret double stop of the G and the B, and then a little uh, chromatic uh, hammer on 12 to 13 to 14 of the A, right back to the double stop, and then a hammer on from 12 to 14 of the D, and then one final note at the you're going to roll up to the 14 of the A. That really funky kind of uh, picking pattern. And then we're into this. So we're grabbing the 12th fret of the B, and then we're pulling off 15 to 12 of the uh, high E. And then you're going to grab the 15 of the B, give it a full step bend, and then catch the 12 of the high E. And you're going to do that twice. And then you're going to pull off 15 to 12 and then roll down and catch the 12 of the high E. So coming out of this, and then we're into this. Sliding into 12 for a double hit and then onto a double hit of the 15 on the E string. Off to the 12 of the B, full step bend to 15 of the high E, off to that F sharp note that I mentioned, hit the, uh, the natural note at 15 first, releasing out of that bend, double hit at the uh, 14 of the high E into a double hit at 15 on the uh, B string. So from here. Now we're jumping up here to the 17th fret, no, sorry, 19th fret of the high E for a full step bend. And we're going to release that bend, uh, full step bend at 19, release to the natural note, and then go 19, 18, 17, off to the 15, up to the 17 of the B for a double hit, and then into a, a step and a half bend, I believe, at the 17th fret. Yeah, that's a step and a half bend. And when you get that step and a half bend up there, you're giving it lots of vibrato. into this. So we're grabbing the uh, the 14th fret of the uh, of the B string or G string sorry giving it a full step bend and then two notes at the 12th fret of the high E. Grabbing the 15 of the B and then a little bend release off to 12 of the G and then back on to the 14. and then back off to the 12. Up to the 14 of the A, 
and that same thing sliding 14 to 12 back to 10 back to 12 back to 14. And that's about the center point of the solo. So up to that point. to this. That is a double stop on the G and the B string. With that kind of funky pad, funky picking. You know, just down, up, down, up. And then, uh, you know, listen to the recording, you can kind of hear the pattern that he's doing. And then he's going to slide it into 14 and immediately slide it back to 12. And then we're into that. And that little lick, little blues lick there, bending 14 of the G, riding down the 12s of the B and the E, and then grabbing the 15 of the uh, B string. And then right into a bend at 14 off to 12 of the G. And then a little play on the 12 14s of the G and the D string. Finishing up on the 12 of the G, killing the note. Into this. Into that lick right there. So we're doing three. Same as we did earlier, we're bending the note at the 15th fret of the B string and picking it three times while it's up there. And then down to the uh, the exact same note, but we're switching here to the 12th fret of the high E for another double hit. And then 15 off to 14, back onto 15, and then back to 14. And then you're gonna, after you hit that 14, you're gonna pre-bend it up a half step and release it. So from the three bends, or the three picks, three picked bent notes. Into this. So 12 of the high E up to 15 of the uh, of the B. Bend release, pick the note. Do the exact same thing on the 14 of the G. And then release the release that off to the 12. And then three bends at the 14. And then release it, and then a little 12, 14, 12, 14, and then finish it up on the 14 of the uh, the D string. So from the three bends, and then we're into this. And that is more just double stop work on the 12, sliding to 14, back to 12. And then uh, a kind of a repeat of a lick we already did. 
into that lick there. And that's just, again, right on that the, the kind of blues pattern there, bending 14, riding down the 12. Right into a bend at 14. And then 14, 12, 14, 12. Up to 14 of the D and then finishing off on the 12 of the G. And that's that lick. And again, right down that little pattern again. Bending 15, jumping up to uh, 17, 15, sorry, 15 of the B with your index, and then grabbing 17 of the high E for like five or six bends. Release it off to 15 and then grab the 17 of the B. And now we're gonna do a lot of play on this bent note. Full a step and a half bend. Kind of like that. You know, it starts off with one big step and a half bend. Another one. And then three. And then four. And then four again. And then you release off to uh, 15 and then back on to 17. So that little passage there. Kind of the feel you want for that one. And then we're going to go bend 14 uh, of the G, release it off to 12, back in that, into that again. And then into this funky little lick. This one's a little bit quick. So we're doing the same kind of lick, bending 14, riding down the 12s. And then when you get down to the 12, you're going to do a very quick little pull off from 15 off to 12 of the B. Into 14 of the G. And then uh, after you, you grab the 14, then you're going to bend it, release it off to 12. Back onto 14, back off to a double hit on the 12. Kind of like that. Into this. So, 11, double hit at the seven. Back to five, grab the seven of the B for a half step bend release. And then back off to the five, and then slide to the seven. And then into this, finishing up the solo. All in the pentatonic, nothing too complicated here. Bend 15, release 14, same thing of the G. Immediately jump down to 15 of the B again. Give it another full step bend. A couple of pull offs from 15 to 12, on to 15 for a full step bend. Release it back to the natural note. Do it again, but do it a little bit longer. And the song's fading out at this point. 
And that's pretty much it for that solo. I certainly hope that was clear. Uh, you know, I get lost slowing these down, picking them apart, and I uh, hope I didn't miss any parts. But uh, I think that's how you play that one. And uh, anyway, I, I certainly hope that helped you out where you're looking to learn this great classic David Gilmour solo here during David Gilmour Month on my guitar channel. And uh, take care of yourselves. Hope you're well out there in your little guitar corner of the world. And we will see you next time. Cheers.